Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I was playing around with my uh, computer yesterday or the drives on it actually and did a video here recently. I decided to uh, format one of the drives on my computer and use it just for media storage because I'm doing a lot of video editing on the computer and I thought that was great. I had it now running as just a drive for media and I could access it from my Ubuntu computer and all was well. However, I recently decided to start beginning using uh, DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu and quickly discovered that it was a little bit rubbish. The Linux version just really doesn't work well. It's got a bunch of problems. I'm, I've encountered a rendering bug. I, you have to transcode the clip separately to use MP4s. It's a lot of headache and you just don't have those on the free version in Windows. So I do have a Windows drive on my computer and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna install DaVinci on this. Now the problem became that uh, if I wanted to read and write from my new clip library drive on my computer, uh, then I needed to have a file system that would be readable and writable from both a Linux and a Windows drive. So from ext4 and from ntfs. And the answer to which format would solve that problem was actually ntfs. You can also use FAT32. So I did this and everything's working nicely. I can read and write to my new media uh, drive from both Windows and Linux. However, after doing this, I wondered, well, is this gonna be slower from Linux? Is there going to be like an overhead because of the fact that it's NTFS? Now, um, I can't unmount this at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna do a read benchmark and just compare NTFS with ext4 here. Now the kernel version I'm using is 5.8.0.63 as you can see here. I'm just using the genomes disk utility. Now you can do a whole disk benchmark by clicking on the three dots and click on benchmark disk or you can just uh, benchmark a partition. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, this is NTFS. Now I've just, I've already run it but I'm gonna just do these both again. So this is measuring the read rate, and it's quite quick, um, actually. So it came in there at, uh, let us see, 552, so NTFS. Now, as far as I know, these are the same manufacturer, and uh, they're both Kingston SSDs. Neither is an NVMe SSD, neither is, H is HDD, so I struggle to see why they're, why they'll be so different, but so I'm getting on the NTFS um, 552 megabytes, whoops, megabytes per second. Now let's see what I get if I'm doing it on uh, an ext4. So I'm going to use the backup drive, which is formatted to ext4 um, and let us go. So this isn't the one that's in use, uh, which is also ext4, that's the operating system. Uh, this is one that is currently relatively idle and here we go as you can see the average read rate is going to uh, it's finished it's already run so 237 ext4 237 megabytes per second so quite surprising um, i'd have to go through my order history double check exactly if there are any differences because there's quite a difference uh, there and it's actually quite surprising that the read speed on the NTFS formatted drive is actually uh, significantly faster than for the ext4 formatted one so there's my unexpected finding for today anyway thought i'd do that video just showing the benchmarking utility within uh, genome disk utility because it's quite useful and uh, doing stuff like benchmarking is great because it can take you away from that guesswork of not knowing uh, having these theoretical que questions about what different uh, formatting, file format methods, journaling methods are going to have. You can just go ahead and run tests and see exactly what's going on under the hood. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon.